He decided he would be a cheeky little fellow and peek over the ledge. He heard more footsteps. It was someone coming towards him with a gun! He was panicking! He doesn't know what to do! Shit, 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 shit! He says! And Archer has been laid to grass, wondering if this fellow will pick him up. For your commentary. And he has. Thank you very much! It appears that the narrator has saved Archer Wood's life. And no thank you? No thank you from Archer? You prick. But now he was missing his bow. He decided he would run down towards the house anyway, and see what was going on. He could see Enon Horsebudzor getting shot at by a gun. He was now hiding in the bush. Uh, uh, how you doing? It's Spudzor hiding in the bush, looting the body. He's been shot. Archer hides behind the base, wondering what? if he's next. It was not. I have made an error, it was Canine Reds. So Archer hid behind uh, the base, fearing for his no. life. Archer wondered whether he should run around onto the road and meet the attackers and ask the questions that needed asking. He ducked and he weaved, avoiding gunfire, running towards the fellows. Hey guys, what is this place? I need hexes, he said. <laughs> they appeared not to be able to kill him like you. because of his commentary. <laughs> A friendly Hitler laughed. He was joyous in the commentary of my narration, which Archer is not thankful for. So, um, guys, what is this place? Does this place have a name or anything? I, I woke up on a beach, and I don't know where I am. Archer picked up a red jacket for the second time, and he prayed that it was not a blueprint. And it was not! He was excited! Shut up, you scrub silver! Shut up, you twelvey! Said fucking gay cunts. And the caterpillar guy healed. Archer Wood, and Archer Wood pulled out his bone club in a non-threatening manner. <laughs> Thank you guys. So what is it that you guys are doing here, wondered Archer. So he asked, what, what are you guys, what are you guys doing here? Been building all day, so I decided to go for a fun run. That must be tiring work. Came across you. Ah, okay, cool. So you're just taking a break? Wondered and Archer. Time. Archer enabled himself on the tool cabinet, hoping that these guys you would not notice and build a base wiring. here. Let me help you out. What the fu- Are, are you so Winter? And the Caterpillar Man gave him some wood. wood. Thanks guys! Know? What am I gonna do with this wood? Wondered Archer. The wood. I'm sure oh, you're no. bloody... Where has all my wood Are you gone? Sir Winter? Archer wondered who this Sir Winter was. And as he wondered, friendly yeah, fire ensued. Winter. And he died. Now Archer was wondering whether he should steal all of the items on this body. But he could not because the body was occupied. And so Archer began to put on the person's mask, chest plate, pants, and boots. He also picked up his bolt action <laughs> rifle. And took his guitar. He did not know how to play it, but are you sure he was able to learn? <laughs> yep, funny. He pulled out the guitar, and began practicing right in the middle of the battle. Oh, crap. He was terrible, oh, crap. but... Oh, I'm sorry, are you done? Oh, how I love you. Oh, crusty crap. Oh. So oh. Archer okay. began to look out I'm at the window that. to the mysterious mountains over yonder. And then he realized fucking gay cunts was back, <laughs> looking for his gear. But Archer Wood was wearing it. He watched as gay cunts tried to hit him, but his new friend suddenly turned on their old friend in favor of this man. As punishment for trying to hit Archer Wood, a friendly hitter put him down to grass, but picked him up. Archer was now wondering whether he could slowly slink away with all this newfound gear, so he tried it. But they were soon onto his plan, so he pretended like he wasn't slinking away and came back. Archer, we, we've all made a decision, okay? Listen to me, not, not anyone else. 
This is all going to be a gift to you. You can keep the gift because we're feeling it's kind. It's, I'm a so it's all good. Friendly guy. Thanks, guys. And I'm a Said Archerwood. No. Archerwood yeah, finished yeah. him off, and he ran yeah, off with his one bullet, saying thank you as he went. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. He ran past his friend's base, who were in the middle of getting raided. But he didn't care because he was awarded with such gifts. As Archer crest the hill, he heard a strange sound. What is it? It sounds like an engine. And then he saw it. Holy fuck, it's a plane, it's a plane, it's a plane, it's a plane, it's a plane. It's a plane, said Archer. He began to run towards its course of trajectory, wondering where it was headed and why it was here. But in the distance, he saw a naked man. And then he saw the plane had dropped something. He began to run towards it. Although Archer knew he looked threatening, he meant the naked man no harm. So he kept on running. And as he ran, he heard the footsteps of the other man getting closer. And then getting further away. So he had to run past the giant boob again. All the way back towards the raiding party. But he was sure that they would get to whatever was falling out of the sky before him. So he rethought his course. So he kept on going this way. He decided to keep his course along the road, looking for more civilization and anyone who could help him out. Archerwood suddenly heard a gunshot towards the boob. Fuck that, he said. Because it was so far away, he could not be bothered running back. He decided to run into the dark, dank woods, collecting weed as he went. But up ahead, he found someone. Hello, said Archerwood. I'm a friendly. I'm just wondering, what is this place? What the hell? Archer began uh, to wonder uh, why know. all of these just arrows really were standing here. Strangely. <laughs> Link began laughing, but Archer did not know why. Why are you laughing? said Archer. What are you... Why are you... What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? Archer questioned him. Trying to... Trying to build a house. Anyway, I'm on the search for answers. What is this place? Does it have a name? I woke up on a beach, I don't remember anything, and this is some strange shit. Uh... I... I have no idea what this place is. I don't even know if there's a, there's a map for the server. I'm just new. Server? Map? Yeah. What's a server? Archer wondered. Uh, uh, Alright, I don't have answers for you. I'm gonna continue building though. Archer yeah. made his way onwards, saddened by Link, so not being right. able to provide the answers he needed. Archer looked at this strange structure and wondered if it was supposed to be a bridge. So he thought, he would complete it. And the bridge was once more. Archer, feeling chipper with himself, decided he would admire it. And the beauty that surrounded it. But the moment had passed and he decided to run along. Searching again for answers. Up ahead was a cylindrical base. He decided that he would go and knock on the door and see if anyone was home. Archer knocked on the door. And yes, there were people home. Hey guys, do you know what this place is? Asked Archer Wood. He was wondering whether this man was going to shoot him, because Archer was not going to shoot at him. And that did sound quite threatening. He was beginning to panic. He wondered, what should he do? So he hid behind the stairs, hoping that they would not find his hiding place. Archer cowered there, wondering. Were they up to something? Are you guys up to something? Asked Archer Wood. Seeing as the fellows really would like not end, VDG Mayo replied. Uh, what are you talking about, narration? You narrating the story of your adventure is quite awesome. Hey, I'm just running along asking for answers. I don't. What are you talking about? Wondered Archer Wood. So, do you have the answers I seek? What is the questions you seek? Says Mayo Almighty. I woke up on this beach, and I don't remember a thing. I ran into some people, they gave me all this gear, because they said the same thing as you, that they liked my narration, and I'm like, what are you talking about? Archer was not appreciative of the narrator saving his life, and getting him dank gear. 
So, um, I need to know, what is this land called? Why am I here? What is the bane of my existence here? I just woke up here, I don't remember a thing. The bane of your existence is to join forces and kill people. Whose forces? Wondered Archer would. Whoever's forces you please. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I want to go around killing people, man. Like, I fucking... I'm, I'm struggling to kill, like, animals around here. Archer Wood was indeed a pussy. Well, you can always farm, or you, you could build, or you could hit barrels, or you could chase planes. Hey, I've, I've done, like, all of those things, exclaimed Archer happily, as he had something he could relate to with Mayo. So Archer sat on the doorstep, sad and upset that Mayo could not provide the answers he wanted. He thought about leaving, and so he did. Thanks, Mayo. Like, but, yeah... The answer to life is 42. And 42 was the answer to life, apparently. Archer Wood did not know what he spoke of, so he just kept on running. Wondering what this conspiracy was, and he ran into someone with a bow and arrow. He wasn't going to shoot at him, though, because Archer is friendly, and as he said before, he just- he cannot even kill animals. So he put away his gun to look less imposing, and he walked towards Frozen Fish. Hey, go on, Frozen Fish. What's going on, man? I'm on an adventure. Um, I woke up on a beach, naked, cold, hungry, just yesterday, just not last night, but, you know, during the day, and uh, I have no memory. I don't know why I'm here. The only thing I can remember is my name, and I'm just wondering if you know why we're here on this rock. Archer Wood asked Frozen Fish all these questions, praying to God that he had the answers. Uh, I, I don't have any good answers for you, man. Archer Wood I, I think left him alone. Like, fight each other and kill each other with rocks. Oh. Okay. Archer Wood, however, did not swing that way. So he left Mayo and Frozen Fish to their butt fucking. Archer Wood needed to use the facilities, so he decided to stop in this bush for a moment. He would be right back. Ah. <sighs> said Archer, relieved that his business was done. He decided to keep on on his adventure. Behind him, he could hear footsteps. A naked man, he turned. Hello? It's me, Mr. Archerwood. And Mayo had come running after Archerwood, hopefully to give him the answers he seeked. What's up, Mayo? I want to find the answers with you. Good. Good. I'm not alone. Oh, I need man, the answer. I could hug you. I need. <laughs> I could hug I need you. My God, uh, I don't feel so alone anymore. Cried Archer Wood like a pussy. Well, can you please give me a second opinion on my doodle size? Archer Wood needed glasses because it was so small that it looked blurry. Well, we better go find some penis enlargement larger pills. So Archer and Mayo set off in search of the answers together. And the gunfire became more heavy over in this area, so he would decide to run over there instead. Archer wondered if it was the crew that had given him all this gear before, hoping that it was. He watched one of them hiding behind the rock, two of them out in the field. What do you want to do, Mayo? Asked Archer Wood. I don't know, man, I'm scared. And it would appear that Mayo is as much a pussy as Archer. They decided to run down anyway. They cowered like cowards. I'm bleeding, I'm gonna die. Archer, for some reason, having a bandage on him, gave it to Mayo so he wouldn't bleed out. And he decided that he would craft more. I have 13 HP. I feel strong and manly. Said Mayo. Archer thought that he could take a great shot at these people, but there was one below him as well. Now he was worried because they were circling him, encroaching on their position. And the two people who originally shot at us killed the two people who were just now shooting at us. Archer laid down a fiery rain of arrows, hoping that someone would sidestep into them, but they were not. As he sat up here with Mayo cowering, he thought, fuck it. I'm going to run down there and fuck them up. Archer stopped and suddenly had a brilliant, most unselfish thought. He stopped and turned to Mayo. Mayo, do you want all this gear and you can take it back to your house and research it and whatever, unless, unless you already have it all? Said Archer unselfishly. And as he asked Mayo, he watched him die. Oh. 
He saved him, but was not good enough to save his life forever. Archer began to run, as the gunfire was now coming from behind us. Fuck this. I'm doing it for him. I'm doing it for him. I'm fucking doing it for him, said Archer heroically. He was going after the gunsman who had killed his friend in search of answers with him. He was going to go Rambo with his bow, but as he looked over there, he couldn't see where the gunsman was. He was worried and disorientated. Was it up there or over there? The gunshots were disorientating to Archer, but he thought they came from this direction. So he began to run towards them, but he found something else instead. Something strange. A floating rock. Was there no gravity in that area? He did not want to get close to that voodoo. So he moved onwards, looking for the gunman who had killed his friend, Mayo. Archer came up upon a dead body with popping eyes, like he had seen a ghost. Maybe the man who was shooting at Archer was a ghost. He began to worry, but then found all of this gear on him, and he was not so worried anymore. Archer moved onwards, now with a full inventory of gear. As he stood on this stone foundation, he realized how tired he really was. Archer had finished crafting a lock. He put it on his door, and he began to feel his eyes getting heavy. Sleep was now coming. 